because days are coming days are coming your own is just your lecturer that says if I don't sleep with you I won't pass you I won't pass you an exam and that one is enough for your leg to go like this a day is coming a day is coming days of persecutions are coming what are our plans for survival of course we cannot have bombs we can't have anti-missiles we can't have all of these things but we must be able to be in the midst of those things and we are immune to it yes because our only way to survive is that we become so immune that these things although we can be in the midst of it it cannot affect us i'm not saying you will not enter the fire you will be in the fire the fire will burn so well but you will not be burned simple there is a security there is a system of exemption when it comes to the things that pertain to god in the days of persecution one of the benefits that comes with persecution and the blessing upon it is when you stand steadfast you are exempted it will always look as though you will die but i'm telling you the truth no one that say if i perish i perish perish no one that say if i die i die they don't die I realize is those that are afraid that want to run away that die those that are willing to stay they don't die mad men are still upon the face of the earth very mad people so mad imagine just some days ago i learned that facebook guy was mark zuckerberg wake up and create an app trend is it right i just wake up in the morning i'm seeing follow me on thread join this thread i said what's going on here it's my friend i covered i said what's going on what's thread he told me it's already there i should go there i said how what does that mean i said what's the signing he said just convert your instagram within how many hours within before 24 hours 30 million people have joined inside thread what if that thing was a, an antichrist system that you are entering that means it's possible for somebody to create something and all of us can go into it by default i want you to understand how the world works we are all victim of this i'm telling you just understand what i'm driving at because you cannot be too wise to say that the world will not have affiliation in you if they want to kill us they have many ways if they want to destroy us they have many ways because no system that has been created that is for believers all of this system we are programmed by these guys in darkness do you know that it's possible for them to engineer code that can affect your spiritual life and put it in something if they can engineer a code and you download it into your laptop and it crashes the laptop they can download something to you into your spirit that will crash you let's tell ourselves the truth you see all of these things they call drugs vaccines all of these things they can program humans as much as possible days are coming days are coming and they are still doing it human psychology how to control humans how to program us how to do all of these things you see our only security is the lord god almighty so that even when we are in the midst of it nothing will happen to us and that's why i tell you you must be so secured you must be so covered you must be so protected you must be so fireized that anytime you find yourself in the midst of sodom you cannot become part of the culture of sodom you can be so covered and shielded that even if they plan whatsoever evil against you the bible says no weapon form against us shall prosper that is the exemption that come by god because you can't stop them from forming the weapon they know how to form the weapon but no weapon formed by king john who can prosper over my life no machine gun no motor gun no aeroplane gun can work but you ask yourself the simple question you like this will knife enter you not to talk about gun not to even talk about nuclear warhead if they channel a missile towards your direction to kill you will it work then you know that there is serious work need to be done we are approaching a day and a time 
we are only them that know the Lord their God that will be strong and they will do exploit. And in these days of persecution, we can only survive by how much more we know the horn of the altar and how much we can be able to bend ourselves and bend the knees in the place of intercession. Persecutions will come. You cannot run away from it. They are coming upon a time, the Bible said, where them that will kill you, we think that they are doing God a favor. They will kill you to them. They are doing God a favor. So when you refer to as persecution is hostility. Persecution is ill treatment. Persecution is harassment. And most times upon the basic of religion, ethnicity, and any moral belief or political belief. When somebody feels that your belief system is different from their own belief system and they feel that you are wrong to believe the things you believe and they are against your belief system, it's persecution. When somebody wake up and begin to treat you differently just because your name is this, your identity is this, because you are this, it's persecution. There are people that hate Christian with passion and so longer your name is Christian, you are, you are just... A black, you are blacklisted. There are some people that hate people that come from from Benue State. If you are from Benue State, you are their enemy. In fact, even in Benue State, a land that TV people can never marry Doma people is persecution. And, and a very simple Doma lady met a simple TV guy, and now they love themselves. They want to marry. The family is over their dead body. Then they have to die. Because when they reach out to me, they say, My mother said, My daddy, my mother said, They have to be dead because they prophesy to themselves. I know a man, he wanted to marry a lady. You know, Igbo people too don't want to marry another tribe. You know that? Before you begin, I love you, go to the house, see how the mother would relate with you first. Don't go and carry yourself and put in that trouble. Say, Over their dead body. This, why you might want to marry somebody from the north? Are you okay? How sir? On your house, sir. On your almagery. To them, everybody in the north is that's persecution. You are persecuting us, you don't know. You are watching me here. You are from the east. Be very careful. All of us here are not on your almagery. Do I look like an almagery to you? Most of you are not as intelligent as some people from the north. The pure apostolic and prophetic voices came from the north. Sometimes I go to the west, go to the east. The way they used to, you know, ostracize us like one kind of Boko Haram person coming. Ah! It's persecution. I can never marry somebody from the north. Oh. Hey! One of those ladies said she wants to come for second but you know, I'm just feeling kind. I see bomb is blasting everywhere. Where did you saw that picture from? The same way some of you are watching me from the US. You felt everywhere in Nigeria, people are putting uh, that kind of picture that they used to use before. A child that is sitting somewhere is about to die. A vulture is about to come and eat it. No, no, no. Haba. Looking at some people as trash. It's persecution. You may not know. We are living in a world where people are despised. People are disdained just because of who they are, where they belong to, what they believe. So you will never marry the person until I die. Where the mother died. The father wants to continue with the same thing. Where the father follow and die. Please and please, you need to be able to understand that in life, people are going to challenge what you believe but when they challenge it you should not be the one that should give up you can never win over a person that is not willing to give up never in the days of persecution we will rise with strong belief and conviction and be willing to challenge the gate of hell go with me to the book of lamentation 52. I want to bring you a charge on the joy of persecution or you can refer to it as the beauty of persecution. It's not bad. See, persecution is not bad. I beg you. 
when you see it as a bad thing you are going to lose the strength to be able to fight when David approached Goliath Goliath began to persecute him who are you small boy if I, if I blow air on you you will fall down well he was boasting in his strength he never knew that David came in the name of the Lord and the person he was persecuting immediately when he went against him he went down many of you that people are insulting and persecuting you let me tell you you are better than them I realize most people that people talk against and criticize the people are better than them but the goal of those eat treatment those talks those harassment is to make you lose that your originality so that they can win over you so lamentation 3:52. say my enemies chase me so like a bear without cause say they have cut off my life in the dungeon and cast a stone upon me what has flowed over my head and then i said i am cut off i call upon thy name O lord out of the low dungeon thou hast heard my voice hide not thy ear at my breathing he had again at my cry this was the prophet named jeremiah prophet jeremiah is a major prophet in scripture i've explained to you who are major prophet as a major prophet in scripture he was part of the prophet that was persecuted so much in fact he was so persecuted that he wrote a book referred to as the book of lamentation mind you lamentation is an english word it's not a anything it's a word for cry and cry and cry 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 it's a cry cry prophet jeremiah is a what cry cry prophet because he's a prophet that he's in jail today next day as he come out he enter again you come and you enter again you come and not because of anything because he's speaking the word of life and when he found himself in the low dungeon in the pit he cried unto god although i am here in the low dungeon hide not your face from my prayer hide not your face from my breathing because what he called breathing there is actually prayer because the, the challenge there is that when you find yourself in the midst of persecution if you call upon the lord let him answer you imagine they are about to stone you to kill you and you say jesus and jesus is not available how much will you feel the pain so one of our prayer in the days of persecution is father hide not your face from my prayer hide not your face from my cry because you will cry most people that are close to me when i tell them i cry daily the thing is a lie there are days you hear me shouting inside it's not prayer it's cry read genuine cry look at my eyes it's tears i cry all the time including yesterday i still cry you cannot know the holy ghost and not cry who are you you see all this hard heart you have you need a lady or you need the holy ghost they will help you because all this strong face you have strong heart is a is a trouble if it is god you are following people are going to insult you bastardize you criticize you speak against you challenge you in fact sometimes it will look as though it's god himself that is against you what do you do you cry it's true it's cry the prophet said oh god i may be in the low dungeon my enemy come against me they dealt with me so i had sores from their dealings the school deal you like this one lecture i wake up and say you will not you will not leave this school i remember when we were in sbrs in Fontua. one guy who you know this lecturer that used to look simple and look nice one guy we just went to school he went and fell in love with our chemistry lecturer and when he loved that lady mumu boy he went and confessed his love to her you don't know that some people are not your mate this woman and now she's married but you know these people that just marry you know and they are still looking nice it's not everybody that marry and turn like uh, this thing he went and now tell her that well you know i know you are my lecturer but i want to tell you the sincere truth since i've come to this campus i have not stopped thinking about you 
Say, I believe I'm here just because of you. The Mumu boy forgot why. I know the guy. It's not as if I'm telling you. It was a sad story of love. Because when he was done talking, he did not know the question, question of what he was saying. Because most of the things you will do in the name of love, you will regret them. If you have never regretted anyone, you have never loved before. You have realized that the woman look at him and say, Wow, really? Say, I never know that you love me this much. Well, me too, I love you. And because I love you, you are not going to graduate from this place. We will stay together in this place. Because normally we are supposed to do remedial for one year, then we'll move to the main campus. She said, well, since I'm a lecturer in this remedial place, you will stay here with me so that we'll, I'll keep on seeing you every year. That's how we did and graduated. The guy was there. The next set came and met him there. The next set, he now began to cry. I don't love you again. Can we break? I don't love you again. Of course, that was a persecution, but he caused it to himself. Is that okay? It is possible that something can be harassing you. It is possible that something can come against your faith. Something can come against your conviction. I remember when we were on campus, it's the same thing. One day they just wake up. Chapel, you know chapel? Chapel shut down their gate that we should not come and be praying there. Yet. Normally we used to go there to pray. They say no, no longer prayer there. Ah, Then, there was a place we used to pray along, is it the volleyball court? They say if they catch anybody there, the security of the school in ABU campus should take the person to a guard room and lock it. Ah. We now went to Catholic Church, our Lady Queen of Peace Parish. Them too, they now say no, each chapel drive us away. Why do we want to come to their place? So they are the dustbin. Them too, they close their place. Ah, and we, we must pray. It became a problem. Of course, to us, that is a persecution because it's coming against our faith. So we begin to cry unto God. Father, although we are in this situation, we must go spiritually. Prayer is part of what we ought to do. You say we should pray always. What should we do? And we began to report them to God. And God said, we should be able to endure and enjoy it because it's a persecution for a time. Do you know that many of us that went to pray, people like them, doctors and the rest, sometimes we go to pray, they will come and arrest us and pack us and put us inside their this their Hilux car and drive us straight to the Gadro. When they lock us there, we continue night vigil there. That's why I love those our ladies from campus that time. We continue night vigil inside their cell. We were looking for where to pray before. They gave us one. Won't you people sleep? Say we are just starting. The next day, when we are praying, they will leave us. Another day, when they disturb the disciple and carry us, we go lock us, we pray again. In the days of Daddy Idaosa, when they catch one pastor and go and lock him, he will go to the police station and say, Lock me too, together with the pastor. In that place, they will start praying and disturbing the cell until they release them. He will do church there. You don't know who Daddy Idaosa is. It was like in the days of Daddy Watchman. In. They stop them from doing church, so they gather themselves in cell. Everywhere you put them, they still do church there. In fact, when they took that, the watchman and took him to prison, as he was in prison, he was doing church. He was gathering all the prisoners and he was converting them. In the prison, they begin to see people kappa kata pala kappa kata pala pakata. Ah, I thought these were amblobbers and thieves and whatever. Of course, God have helped them. Why? Because watchman has come. Let nothing shut down your breathing. Although I am in the Lord Don John, Jeremiah said, hide not your face from my breathing. When they lock the apostle in jail, the Bible said they gather together, they sing song, they pray, and the Holy Ghost came down. When the Holy Ghost come down, you must be set free. You can change the mechanism, but don't stop doing what you are doing. If they put you inside water and they say die there, die praying. It's more better. I remember that story while I read the story of that the watchman knee, that when they lock him inside there, later on they felt since he's converting all of these people, what should we do? They cut his tongue. 
You see, since they cannot stop him from preaching, they remove his tongue. When they remove his tongue, he carries his pen. He begins to write. It was those books that he was writing normal Christian life, the spirit life, all of those things he was writing there from jail. That is why when you read those books, you won't understand it because you, you are you are comfort to him. Fasting, prayer is normal thing because they don't have any option. It's when they see food that they eat. Have you been in jail before? You cannot say I'm hungry because there is a time to release food. When that time no come, fasting is constant. And when you eat, you know, do you? You don't have a kitchen to go and cook. When you are not hush puppy. So you need to be able to understand that in the days of persecution, all the things you call an advantage is taken away. And you only survive by cry and by breathing. Don't be ashamed of your cry. Cry very well. It's part of what prophets do in the last times. In those times, they weep tears. They shed tears. I don't trust anybody that has not even cried before. I don't trust anybody. You are not a human being. Even Jesus, John 11, 35. The Bible says Jesus wept. When they were beating him, he said, Ah, yeah. See, tears is not a proof of weakness. Is humanity but it's strength hidden inside allow the person to finish crying when the person rise up you will know jesus cried but he resurrected no wonder when they approach him say sorry oh don't cry don't cry do you know the answer he gave that woman 